First, the good news about world health. Carbon dioxide emissions from electricity generation in the United States are at the lowest levels for 20 years. Because natural gas is fast becoming cheaper than coal for electricity generation. Therefore, the big fossil fuel pushers, big coal and big oil have invested billions of dollars in natural gas. And while natural gas is certainly better for your total health and carbon weight compared to coal, it is still actually a fossil fuel that adds pounds of carbon dioxide to your waistline, America. Is that real weight loss or simply a fast food diet? I think it sounds like junk food. Coal versus the natural gas price is about to cross over because natural gas is just sliding below coal when compared using equivalent energy terms. The converted price of coal is $2.72, but the price of natural gas is now $2.34.3. Big coal and big oil and big gas are all excited about this and want to drill and extract all fossil fuels and burn them to create wealth for themselves and their shareholders. But. If the Earth is the enterprise then the fossil fuel giants are Klingon warbirds. Laugh out loud. So, climate change is simple a global climate war is on between the Klingons and the enterprise. Yes, you got it right. And their goal is to simply suck up all fuel, sell it and create wealth, regardless of the effect on the environment. They just want to keep their massive profits flowing, but the enterprise includes scientists, environmentalists, and people. And they're all fighting a losing battle, and no one wants to lose their jobs, careers, homes and lives in this global war. Albert Einstein said this, two things are infinite, the universe, and human stupidity, and I'm not sure about the universe. Carl Sagan said this, those who are skeptical about carbon dioxide greenhouse warming might profitably note the massive greenhouse effect on Venus. No one proposes that Venus's greenhouse effect derives from imprudent Venusians who burned too much coal, drove inefficient autos, and cut down their forests. I know the rest of that story. The climatological history of our planetary neighbor, an otherwise Earth-like planet on which the surface became hot enough to melt tin or lead, is worth considering, especially by those who say that the increasing greenhouse effect on Earth will be self-correcting, that we don't really have to worry about it. You can see this in the publications of some groups that call themselves conservative, that the greenhouse effect is a hoax. Another quote from him is this. Anything else you're interested in is not going to happen if you can't breathe the air and drink the water. Don't set this one out. Do something. Hmm, now, the bad news. Global climate change in 2012 and the climate change effects are becoming more and more obvious. This will force climate adaptation and extreme weather strategies, and both hot weather and cold weather strategies to be created, to tackle the environmental degradation impacts, like heat waves, sea level rise and increasingly weird weather. Another quote. Judging by the pollution content of the atmosphere, I believe we have arrived at the late 20th century. Mr. Spock in the voyage home, laugh out loud. Here is a quote I heard on the TV. United States Midwestern drought intensifies dash I don't remember any time it was this dry, this early. A mild snow less winter, an unusually dry spring, and debilitating heat, in May and June have created serious drought conditions in parts of Kansas, Missouri, Illinois, and Indiana, among other states. We all know oil companies make an amazing amount of money, 33.5 billion in 2012 first quarter profits by the big five alone. Selling gasoline and other petroleum products to the world. Oil companies fear the financial impacts of climate change because oil companies make all their money from rapidly depleting fossil fuel stocks, combined with increasingly expensive acquisition costs, climbing every day. When it comes to their massive profits, oil companies also say that climate change threatens to cut off their income, affecting stock prices. Coal is suffering from the demands of the Environmental Protection Agency, and coal demand dropping in the United States because gas is so cheap. Luckily for them, India and China are increasing coal consumption exponentially, because of new power plants and sales of vehicles. Unlucky for us and the planet. But oil profits are tanking because oil prices are currently climbing, causing prices at the pump to rise, producing greater oil demand, 
and there is restricted oil supply due to Middle East problems, unavailability of easy-to-get oil, and environmentalists. Coal and oil fear the loss of profits because it is getting too expensive for power plants to be built and to buy fuel and make a profit. This includes India and China. New power plant investment is running into the problem of becoming locked into power plant investments that are expensive to build and run, cost billions up front, then the ongoing costs are constantly climbing every year, versus the costs of renewable power plants. Oh yes, install once, pay once, then, sit back and make profits from then on. Which model will make more financial sense to accountants? Renewables, of course. So what is the solution to big oil's cash flow problems? Buy big into natural gas, but they still make loads of cash from oil. Accountants will save the earth from global climate change. Why? Because coal and oil are too expensive to use for transport. You only travel 27.5 miles for $5 in a gasoline car versus 90 miles for five dollars in an electric car. Also coal is too expensive for power generation versus solar, which is close to parity with coal meaning the same price, and dropping precipitously. And, solar installations are going parabolic. The cost of solar electricity is plummeting. It is now level with coal in price and still dropping. A quote to finish off. Who are we? We find that we live on an insignificant planet of a humdrum star, lost in a galaxy, tucked away in some forgotten corner of a universe, in which there are far more galaxies than people. Carl Edward Sagan, 9th November 1934 to the 20th of December, 1996. He was an American astronomer and science writer. Climate change is, or should I say, was very simple for Carl Sagan.